Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. I am joined today with my lovely Hufflepuff friend Rodney, better known as One Spell Away Online, I'll link him down below, but we are here at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London and we have just ordered a very festive lunch, I'm very excited. But we're going to be experiencing Hogwarts in the snow. You've you've been here a million times. I have, I have. You've been here more than I have. Uh, maybe. So he's a tour expert, <laughs> and we're going to be showing you everything Christmassy that the tour has to offer for Hogwarts in the snow. I'm very excited. We're in our Hogwarts uniforms. It's very cute. We love to see it, and we're going to have a very magical day and take you along with us. Our food has just arrived, really quickly I may add. Look at all of this festive food. I'm gonna show you in a bit more detail. So I got the turkey festive dinner. It's like a whole Christmas dinner, oh my goodness. We've got a posh um, a posh dog, a festive one. What did you get? Turkey doorstop sandwich. Turkey doorstop sandwich, this looks amazing. Oh, I'm so festive. Ask permission to take my mask off only to talk to you guys it's going straight back on afterwards but we're in the great hall it's absolutely beautiful those Christmas puddings never fail to impress they're so beautiful the Christmas tree decorations here are stunning love the little witch at the top super cute just flying around all the Christmas wreaths and everything and oh, I just want to sit down and have a bit of a snack to be honest it all looks delicious even though all of the food here on the table is fake so it's not gonna go off when you're you know looking around it's not gonna smell of chicken or peas it's all really cleverly and beautifully created for the sets here right let's ca let's carry on through the tour let's go it's so festive so what's your favorite bit of the Great Hall oh gosh I love the Christmas tree decorations I want all of them and they don't sell them which is really sad but yeah I want they are beautiful <laughs> come back don't fall into the Christmas feast. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> this is what happens around Harry Potter stuff. It is. It's beautiful. It's very overwhelming. <laughs> the beautiful ice sculpture from the Yule Ball. Very impressive in person. It's so pretty. And there's also all of the costumes as well. From the Yule Ball. Got Hermione and Bear, but Crumb. Very nice. Where are we, Rodney? So this is the Gryffindor Boys Dormitory. Again, lots of stuff I want. Who have like, we got in here? So that's Ron Ronald. Weasley. Yep, there's a Chudley Cannons thing over there. And then we've got Harry. The man, Harry. The chosen one. And we've got Dean Thomas over here with his West Ham. <laughs> And Neville Longbottom, and they've made it all festive with all the tinsel and. And then you can see Neville doing little Yule Ball dance practice. Oh, he's doing a little Yule Ball dance. That's so cute. Oh, I love that there's Christmas cards everywhere as well. Merry Christmas! Here's an example of one of the Christmas cards that they've got out. It's so cute. Okay, we're here in the Slytherin common room, and this is the first time I think that I've seen it for Christmas. I might be wrong, but they have got some festive garland up there. But you can also see here that they've got more Christmas cards, and I think the Christmas cards are one of my favorite things here at the tour. Um, and a fun fact uh, that I heard, that a lot of the Christmas cards for the movies were made by some of the cast and the crew. So here we have it festive Slytherin common room. So I have just made friends with one of the interactors here and they have very kindly offered to show us some little bits and pieces up close and personal. I'm very excited, I'm not sure what we're going to be shown but come along with me 
and let's see what magic that we can discover together. What we find is a lot of the original decorations that we had made for the films, a great example is over on the, the cards and stuff like that. Uh, we actually had made by local school school children. Oh, that's cute. Um, I was just saying to the blog that I heard that some of them in the films were made by the cast and the crew. Yes, yes, uh, loads of stuff like that. So we don't have it up at the moment, but in the Gryffindor common room in the films, there's a notice board yeah. that's filled with uh, stuff that you'd find on every regular sort of school notice board. So um, they actually asked the, the cast, the kids, to, to make stuff that they think would go on there. So they put up flyers for like when Quidditch practice would be, the Gobstones Club, that kind of stuff. Thank you. Um, so loads of fun stuff. So that's kind of for Following that, and like I say, the ones that we have up here um, are still the original ones from the films. I'll tell you that that sofa over there is the comfiest thing in the world. It looks it really very is. comfortable. Wouldn't mind a it nap is. on there. Okay, so we're now at the potions classroom, and oh my god, it's my favourite book of all time. How did you know? Oh, awesome. <laughs> so here we are with the advanced potion making book. Yes. Yeah, so this is uh, from Sixth Book, as we know. This is unfortunately not the Harper Prince's copy. That one is a bit too fragile. One of my favourite features, even before I open it, on the back is the blurb. It's in the shape of a cauldron, which is, is super adorable. This is nice. all Mina Lima designs, which yep, I'm sure you know about. The the Absolutely fabulous. Yeah. But on the inside, let's just have a look and show you how most of our books would work in the films. So you'd start off standard, yep. you'd get to a contents page where it's got your chapters listed through from one through to chapter nine, but that's sort of a white lie. You'll open it at chapter oh, one. Oh, it just repeats. Yes, so. Oh, it's still got content in there. It's got content in there, and it's got good content in there. So if we start on the different methods of potion preparation page, and then we turn it over about, there you go. It's about sort of 10 pages or so. And then it repeats for the And then it book. repeats and it just keeps Beautiful going Beautiful book though. It is absolutely gorgeous. And everything written in here is, you know, accurate information that you need. It does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a flaw in it, which is that po Polyjuice Potion is listed in here, but we know that that's from most potent potions, yep, yep, not yep. from this. It's all right, we'll, we'll let it slide. That's a <laughs> slight deeper cut for you. It's a beautiful book, <laughs> definitely one of my favourites. That is the one there. Yeah, and it just means that throughout the classroom you can have people open it. One open in the middle at that, yep. one open at the back. At, um, and it looks legit. Yeah, and it just looks legit throughout the whole thing. That's amazing, thank you for showing. It's all right, no worries. We have a magic jar. Yes, this is our bone jar. This is a very good example of the kind of stuff that we put into a lot of the potions yep. jars. Uh, baked bones from the butcher shop popped in here. From the butchers. I, I did know that fact, actually, but it's very cool to see it up close. It is very cool. Um, it's also a little weird to think that these have been baked and then put in here for about 20 years now. 20 so. year old bone. If I was to drop it and it smashed it'd be basically a biological weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> It's not fantastic. Is that squid? So no. this is this is a very standard thing that we would do as it's well. It's furry. Um, yeah, so you'd go to the zoo shop, Regent's Park, buy a bunch of animals, and then sort of make your own animals out of them. So right. cutting them up, splicing them together. So this used to be a squid That's and some animals, kind of <laughs> fake animals, yes. Toy ones. I am a vegan, I do have yeah. to point that out. Um, yeah, and then we have our fur on top, which could have come from anything. I mean, it's very effective. It looks completely alien. Especially when you put it in the green sort of suspended liquid. Yeah. No, in fact, that's amazing. there is one more to show you. Okay. We... And the third Ooh. one. Some kind of rat oh. spider hybrid. hybrid thing. That's really creepy. It's also got like a beak with fangs on it. Oh my disturbing. god, look at its little face. It's like a bat face and then a spider body and there's a fur. Yeah, that is horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty standard uh, kind of thing that you used to do for the potion chairs as well. And Snape just collects these, you know? Yeah, he's a, he's a weird one. <laughs> so we are here at Hagrid's hut and there is a thick layer of snow on the roof, which is pretty cool. But also, I've noticed that Hagrid himself over here has got snow all in his hair and his beard, and even all down there on, on the floor, on his boots, which is quite cool. And all over the hut itself. Oh my God, it looks like real snow. If anybody wants to learn the waltz from the Yule Ball, then you can learn the steps here on the floor. We've also got the witch waltz on here, and McGonagall and Ronald Weasley's outfit, and then obviously this, which is pretty cool. Doing the waltz. <laughs> Amazing, a great dance. <laughs> okay, so something brand new at the tour, which we've never seen in snow before, is the Forbidden Forest. It's right in front of me, or behind me now. Um, but yeah, it's covered in snow. I'm very excited to see it in all of its snowy glory. Let's go and have a look. First 
in here. We come across Hagrid in the snow, looking very lovely. I love the snow on all of the trees as well. Oh, this looks so festive. I love it. This is all in the snow as well. I've got to say, it looks pretty beautiful. And there is a little centaur up there. I'm going to go say hi to Buckbeak. We saw Buckbeak, it's very beautiful. Buckbeak's through here as well. <laughs> now they've got a brand new Christmas shop here at the tour and I'm gonna go have a look at all the decorations. I'm very excited. <laughs> How excited are we for the Christmas Ooh, shop? Christmas is so pretty. Oh my God, it is so pretty. Oh, new stuff. It's like rainbow. It's pretty. I'm gonna go shop, let's go shop. Okay, That's so we've got so some pretty. Gryffindor things over here and check out all of these decorations. Oh my god, I need one of you. You're coming home with me. Okay, so we've got a Gryffindor section over here and then we move over to Hufflepuff. Um, I'm gonna have to buy lots of these. <laughs> now obviously I'll film you guys a haul, but look at this, it's an interactive ornament that's the Marauders map and it lights up with little feet. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's definitely going in my basket. <laughs> And over here we have got the Slytherin section as well as the wonderful Ravenclaw. There are so many Christmas decorations, like they have upped their game this Christmas. It looks so cool. I am obsessed. I love that they've got the stockings as well. They've got different types for the houses too. Um, really love these. They've also got the ribbons that go around the trees. Very, very nice. Got a bit of a Ravenclaw diadem there. Lovely. Perhaps some of my favourite Christmas decorations are the Hogwarts Express ones and you may have seen me with that one last year but these are absolutely beautiful. Damage has been made folks, I'll do you a haul soon. So they very kindly wrapped everything so it's all nice and safe. I'm gonna hide that receipt, we don't talk about that. We're at platform nine and three quarters. We've got the one, the only Hogwarts Express. <laughs> So pretty. <laughs> Iconic. Cheers, Rodney. Cheers. What happens in Hogwarts stays in Hogwarts. <laughs> right, we've just had our butter beers. I'm gonna go find a very festive diagonally now. Um, I'm just trying to show you all the Christmassy bits. We're currently in the creatures department which one of my favourites, but we're gonna go along to Gringotts. Right, we're just at Gringotts. It's not Christmassy, but I'll walk you through it. So, just gonna go get my Gringotts coins before the gift shop. <laughs> my mate. We're just skipping through to Diagon Alley. We'll just ignore the dragon, it's fine. Oh my God, it's so snowy. Welcome to Diagon Alley. So every year, the Warner Brothers Studio Toy London hide the snowmen on the castle. There's two. There's two, yeah. So if you don't want to know where they are, look away now. But if you do want to, then have a little look. I will show you them. We're gonna go see the second one. Rodney's having to point them out to me because I haven't got my glasses on and I cannot see. I'm like Trelawney, I need like the big glasses. But let's go see the second snowman. You 
guys know what time it is now? It's gift shop time. Um, we've just looked at the castle. We found all the snowmen, though I can't see them. I'm literally so blind. But yeah, we're gonna go to the gift shop. I've already done a little bit of damage in the Christmas shop. Ooh, festive. Yes, we've got very big shop. Might get this. Rodney has found a Christmas jumper. It's brand new. It is brand new, it's very nice. It's 45 pounds. Shiny. That is nice, I'm tempted to get that for next year's Christmas. It's so thick. Well, What's the back look like? Pretty soon limited though. Ooh, nice. cute, we like, we like. I like it, I'm considering it. We've got all new Christmas sections, which is quite cool. Okay, so me and Rodney are gonna twin. We're gonna get the Christmas jumpers. We're gonna look fabulous. So over here, we've got all the Hogwarts alumni bits and pieces. And then we've got lots of Marauders map things. We've had a look at all the Christmassy things over here. Let's go have a look at the rest of the shop. Ones for everybody. I've noticed that they have got the brand new wooden ones. I've got the Hermione one, which is over there. But yeah, something to note that they've got all those. have got Harry's wooden one as well. It's not Christmassy, but they've got brand new Deathly Hallows bags. I do quite like that backpack. They've got, these ooh, two. These are new too. Yeah, new little Deathly Hallows. Oh, a little card purse. That's card cute. This is like a like a triangle one. Oh, it's quite Kinda. a nice little wallet, actually. Okay, we are in the magical creature section with all the plushies. And apparently there is a brand new plush here, which is the Thestral, which Rodney is going to model for us. There, oh, that is cute, you know. That's very cute. If I was a plushie collector, I absolutely would. I love the wings. Little bony tail. They're very cute. <laughs> Little festival butt. <laughs> How much is that? 29. Very nice. Got nifflers, uniforms. We've got hippogriffs. We've got toads. We've got all of them. Oh, <laughs> I love that one. You can make them go, you can be in the singing frog choir. <laughs> Amazing. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Something we get this way comes. <laughs> that is a very cute plush. I do like that. So is it all cut get your out? pygmy puffs, everybody. There's so many pygmy puffs. <laughs> Whilst we're in the pygmy puff section, we've just noticed these dressing gowns, but the hood is a pygmy puff. It's kind of. It's a little bit weird, I've got to say. It's a little bit weird, but very soft, I must say. Guys, this is a bit sick to have in a gift shop. They've got a crate of dead Dobbies. Oh. Need Hermione with her spew badges around here. There is some like disturbing Dobby things in here right now. Like, cover your dignity, man. Rodney's a Hufflepuff, so he's yeah. looking at all the new Hufflepuff things. We've got a key ring, we've got a new keeper pin down here. I'm gonna have a look at the Gryffindor stuff soon. Give it a little wiggle. Very nice. How much is it? Seven, Seven pounds. pounds. It's quite nice. We thought it might be a bauble, but is it a bauble? I, I don't think There is it's... a snitch actually, so I think you're right. It's not yeah, a bauble. Yeah, I think it's just a Quidditch thing. Nice though. I found the Gryffindor stuff. There's another one here, which is a keeper, and it's got a snitch on it. Um, they've also got the new key rings as well. I'm going to control myself here because I've got enough pins. These ones are probably some of my favourite pins. This one is a must-have. Very nice, a Ministry of Magic medal. We've got all of the new books. I've actually just bought this film wizardry book. It's the updated version with the new cover. We've also got these pop-up cards, little Hedwig, a Howler. Don't like the chibi stuff, remove it. <laughs> But they've got all of these notebooks, which are quite nice, and all of the house edition books. Very nice. And illustrated. We love an illustrated book. Found a pin that I might have have to buy, which is the um, the mer mermaid from the prefect's bathroom. So that can go in the basket. What else is there? This is one of my favourite pins that they do here. Actually, it's the Yule Ball. I've already got that though, so I'm not going to buy it again. Um, this one's another favourite of mine. Here's some other pins. Oh, that is one I've not seen before. Might have to get that one as well. And the new little, so this is Umbridge collection. 
umbrage collection. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, I think it's a key ring. It is a key ring. Yeah, it's a, so it's got a little teapot, it's got a Ministry of Magic, obviously, which is working. Her classic a classic kitty, kitty badge. Brooch, yeah. And there's a teacup, obviously, which we know, and then the kitty, other kitty badge. Yeah. But Very then nice. got a support umbrage, so. <laughs> this is a cute little new book. Harry Potter Knitting Magic. Unfortunately, I can't knit very well, but that's a very nice book. You can, oh, we can knit the night bus. Cute. Christmas baubles for all houses. Very nice. And Rodney was saying that there's some brand new cases somewhere, so we're gonna go and have a look at those. These are the brand new luggage cases, and we've got Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, the normal one, and then over there, we have got a Ravenclaw and a Slytherin one. It's been one of my favourite sections with all the designer bags and all of the uniforms. And also there's this very beautiful Yule Ball looking Christmas tree today. There's a few more Christmas decorations and they've actually got these sets from the Yule Ball and it's all their costumes. The expensive section, everybody. Look at the... Look at that. Oh, it is beautiful in here. And these are authentic props and stuff in here. We have found honey dukes with all of your sugar quills and all of your chocolate frogs, your Bertie Bot beans, fudge flies, and Christmas decorations. This is a very good honey dukes mug, by the way. Huge, perfect for hot chocolates. The goods are here, ready for a haul. Okay guys, we're at the Chocolate Frog Cafe. We're gonna get some sweet treats to try and show you all the goodies. I'm very excited, there's some right in that cabinet. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that. And then I'll take this one. So guys, what have we got here? We have got a festive bauble, not sure it's the exact name, but it's a bauble and I think inside of it does it give you your Hogwarts house in colour? should do. And then there's the Yule Ball Cupcake. And then we've got a Sweet Shop Blondie. And this one that Rodney was excited to try, which is a caramel and cranberry tart. So we've got four to try, because we thought, you know what, treat ourselves. Oh, they all look you so want, nice. You can try the tart first, you're excited about that. Yeah, one. it looks magical. Dig Thank in. You. I think I'm going to try this bauble. I don't know how to attack it. If I'm well, honest. it's a reveal, so it's let's a see. reveal. Yes, yeah, house reveal. Okay, let's see. Who do you reckon it's gonna be? It should be. It's not gonna be Griffin. <gasps> Can you believe? Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Hang on. Look. Reveal. This wasn't it, planned. <laughs> that was not planned. I got Griffin door. Well, I'm a true Griffin door now. That looks very pretty. Beautiful. Well, cut in half, and then we can try yeah. it with both. I'm using my hands like a heathen. Right. Let's try some. Ooh! Whoa. Oh my god. That's like fudge. What would you give that one out of ten? Mmm, like eight? It's very nice. Eight. Eight out of ten. <laughs> What's that like? Very chocolatey. Moist. Oh, fine. <laughs> I would give that maybe a seven out of ten. It's very nice. No, actually not. Maybe an eight because it's got the interactive element. Are it's you just saying that because you've got Gryffindor? Yes. Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> okay, up next we're going to try the Sweet Shop Blondie, which looks like this. Very pretty. That's, there you go, it's focused. There's like honey jukes in a dessert. Is it so it's got like, it's like Smarties on the top? Yeah, it's got Smarties, marshmallows, Glacé cherries, chocolate and cake. <laughs> right. I'm giving you a try of everything. What do you think? I don't know what it is. It's like fudgy on top. I mean, I can't remember what a blondie is. I guess like Is it a, meant to be like a cake? Is like it? a brownie, but... Um, Blonde brownie. Chocolate. I think I looked this up recently, but I can't remember Like a I... white chocolate brownie. Let me know in the comments if you know what a blondie is. It's nice. It's very, um... <laughs> <laughs> very very sweet if you've got a really big sweet tooth this one's for you i'd probably give this one maybe a five out of ten it's not my favorite visually it's very beautiful but mm. i would say this is the nice one so far yep the tart's winning i do like the chocolate though it is nice right your okay. ball cupcake slightly pink inside um can we focus 
There we go. Okay, there's a lot of icing. There's some like glittery bits on top. Out of glamorous angle, I know. I think it might be raspberry or cranberry. Cranberry, um... So see, cranberry would make more sense, right? Because it's a Christmas. Bit. It's really like... It, moist is the only word I can think of. <laughs> I give that one maybe a 7 out of 10. I think the winner for both of us was the caramel and cranberry tart, which was delicious. So top marks for that. So we're gonna have a little graze with all these puddings and I've got to drive home with all my goods, which there will be a haul video to follow this vlog. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much. I hope you've had a magical day. So magical. If you've enjoyed Rodney on the vlog, do go check him out. Follow him on Instagram if you love Harry Potter. I mean, if you're here, you love Harry Potter. Go follow Rodney, he's a big fan and always has like... You, you're always the person that shows me all the new things. Oh, fun. Oh, um, which is really exciting. So go follow Rodney on Instagram and on his YouTube as well. Subscribe and all that. I'll leave it down below. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a magical thumbs up. And I'll see you soon. I wanted to say Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas just yet, but Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye. Ooh